Hey everybody, I'm Rick Beato. In today's episode, we're going to listen to the top 10 of the global top 50. Now I'm looking at it right now and I see mostly songs that I've never seen before and I've never heard. So I'm going to listen to it so that you don't have to, but I'm going to play along with the guitar. I assume that there's probably very little guitar, although I have no idea. Before I go on, if you're new to the channel or you've watched and haven't hit the subscribe button, hit the subscribe button and the bell to receive all notifications so you know when I put out a new video. Uh, the first song here is called Search and Rescue by Drake. Let's check it out. Sad pony. Okay. Hey. Yeah. Cool piano Baby lick. X. I need someone to be patient with me. Someone to get money when I take it from me. that da, 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 da. He uses that flat six. Really cool. Lick it there. Take me out the club. Just as a straight me out the trap. Take me off the market. Take me off the map. I'm trying to hear that chirping of the auto tune. That's really, I, honestly, that's the hook there. Da, 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 da. He goes for those notes, those little half-step moves there that creates the emotion. I mean, there's just nothing to the song. There's just no development. There's no bridge. There's no pre-chorus. There's no chorus. There's just a dissonance and a piano lick. So it's so stark. Okay, song number nine is Boys a, Li uh, Boys a Liar Part 2, Pink Pantheress and Ice Spice. Take a look inside your heart, is there any room for me? I won't have to hold my breath till you get down on one knee Because you only want to hold me when I'm looking good enough Did you ever fool me? Would you ever picture us? Every time I pull my hair, it was only out of fear That you'll find me ugly and one day you'll disappear Because what's the point of cracking? It was never easy. It's like a three chord songs now See if it does anything different. These songs are so short, there's nothing to them. Two minutes, 11 seconds of the same thing. I'm making it actually cooler than it is, but I like that, that sound there, that uh, B flat sus two with a major seven is pretty. And then it goes kind of G minor 11. That sounds nice. Listen. Good bass line. It's really... Okay. Goes to D minor for a second. So if you're looking for these songs to do something other than just play the same few chords, this is a four chord song. It does a D minor chord, but it's B flat, G minor, C. And I talk about the chords because there's just nothing else. You know, you have the rhythm of the bass, which is cool. But other than that, it doesn't really do anything. Song number eight is called Cupid by 5050. Don't know anything about this. Two five one six. I hope that's romantic all my life. Surrounded by couples all the time. I guess I should take it as a sign. I'm feeling lonely. Oh, I wish I find another that could hold me. Now I'm crying in my room. So skeptical of us. But still, I want him more. Okay, so that's a cool thing, but they hit on two. Let's check that out. Three, four, one, two, three, four. 
that's an old school trick there. The the kick on two like this. This is goes back. This is like actually kind of a jazz thing to do. It's a two five one six chord progression. That is the most standard jazz thing. Four four on the floor. This sounds like a song. Nice. Okay, that thing is really. Listen. So you got that that D, uh, the major seven against the D chord there. That's really the hook. Once again, this song is different than the other ones because this actually sounds like a song. I'm just going to say this right here. I can figure out any of these songs as they're playing. I'm relating one to the next. If you buy my ear training course, you can do that. These are easy songs to figure out, but even difficult songs. Look in the description. You can get it there. Coming in at number seven, Harry Styles, As It Was. Oh, geez. How long are we going to hear this song? Okay. The last time I talked about this was eight months ago. It's been eight months since I've done one of these top 10 countdowns. This is still on the charts. It's unbelievable. Song number six is called Besso, wrote by Rosalia and Raul Alejandro. Wasn't expecting that last, last one to be major. Pretty. Cool. Yeah. Oh, 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 the song started out cool. I mean, it was really interesting. And then it kind of went into what I just call a stock groove. You know, this is a stock Latin groove that we've heard a million times over the last few years. But the, I think the beginning is beautiful. Song number five. Oh my God. I think I have to put my glasses on because some of these things, I don't even recognize these. these uh, let's see. It's um, called La Bebe and it's by Yang Lucas maybe and Peso Pluma. I have no idea. It's dark. Desafanate, lo calo en papate, de mi cuerpo mojate, usted sabe en el vez montate, que lo que mi bebé en el mercebe, las estrellas en el techo y hasta el arce fue. No sabes tú que esta noche estás pa' mí. That's really not very inspiring sounding. It's kind of an anti-groove groove. It's, I, mean, it's, I guess it's a groove. It's a succession of beats played, but is not what I would call it, a real kind of grooving vibe there. But melodically, it doesn't do much. Coming at number four is called... Uh, TQG by Carol G and Sharika. La que te dijo que un vacío se llena con otra persona te miente. Es como tapar una herida con maquillaje, no se ve, pero se siente. Te fuiste diciendo que me superaste y te conseguiste nueva novia. Lo que ella no sabe es que tú todavía me estás viendo toda la historia, bebé, que fue. La puse en un cuadradito. So the same song. Estás buscando un melado si sabes que yo errores no repito. Dile a tu nueva bebé que por hombre no compito. Que estar tirando que al menos yo te tenía bonito. Verte con la nueva me dolió. 
Pero ya estoy puesta pa' lo mío Lo que vivimos se me olvidó so let's get all these songs are just three chord songs with the same drum beats to them. I think three three in a row. The only one so far, the Harry Styles is a song, and the uh, I think Cupid, that was the other one that sounds like a song, but these other things are just like a basic beat with a, just a three three chord vamp and, and melodies that just move along kind of in a linear way that don't really have any kind of jumps or anything like that in it. Coming in at number three is SZA. Kill Bill, let's check out Kill Bill. Cool. There we go. That's like an old school kind of hip hop groove. The swing feel, I like it. Sounds so different. I wouldn't call that a static melody. <laughs> Some people might say it's incredibly boring because it does nothing. But the drum groove is interesting. It has a shuffle feel and it's programmed kind of like what a drummer would do with some breaks. So it, at least it has that. Coming in at number two is Ela Bayasola by uh, Esteban Ar Armida Armeo and Peso Pluma, who I think is, did another song earlier on. Yes, exactly. Uh, let's check it out. Hear a fresh, a real guitar sounds? We gotta hear the intro again. Isn't it weird when you hear a guitar out of the blue and it's just like, what is that? I can't tune down, but it's like... This is super vocal heavy, no kick drum, the kind of guitars leading the rhythm of it. It's cool, it's different sounding. Not my favorite, but up there. And coming in at number one, Miley Cyrus, Flowers. Let's check it out. We were good, we were gold. Kind of dream that can't be so. We were right, till we weren't. What a great singer. I didn't want to lie. Started to cry, but then remember that I, I can buy myself fly. Ah, interesting. Rest two, right? Remember that I, I can three, buy myself four. flowers. Write my name in the sand. Talk to myself for hours. Say things you don't. Okay. 
has a post chorus. Hook. This is actually a song. It has form, it has a verse, pre chorus, chorus, and a post chorus part to it. It sounds so different from everything else, right? It's obvious that, that the, the ones that are songs sound like songs instead of just some random three chord vamp that has that has one section essentially and just like a little repeated vocal thing but it's really amazing how these songs are the top songs in the world my god leave your comments love to know what your thoughts are